Well, hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Chessbase 11 video tip for you. Last couple of videos we've been looking at maneuver searches in Chessbase 11, a very underutilized feature because a lot of people don't understand how to use it. That's why we're doing videos here. You'll remember in the first video we looked at bishops moving from f1 to c4 in the opening. Last time around we looked at bishop moving from f1 to c4 in the middle game and the end game. While we were looking at these maneuvers, looking at that bishop moving from f1 to c4, we saw a fair number of games where the bishop moved from f1 and captured a black piece on c4. Now what if we wanted to do that same search, bishop, white bishop starts in f1 and goes to c4, but instead of just moving to that square, it captures on that square. In other words, we want to look specifically for games in which the bishop captures on c4. How would we do that in a maneuver search in chess base? Well, I'll show you how. Right click on the database that you want to search, click on search, go to the maneuver tab, we've seen this before. You write your little sentence here, white, bishop, and of course you need to type in algebraic coordinates, f1 to c4. Now how do we specify a capture? We only want captures, we don't want a bishop just moving from an empty square to an empty square, or moving from f1 to an empty square. What we want to see is the bishop moving from f1 to a square where it captures a black piece. How do we do that? Very simple. This little box right here is actually a check box. And if you check it, look up here, we now have an x and a question mark. Bishop on f1 to c4 captures something. Now we can be very specific about what we want it to capture, but we'll leave it alone for the moment. We'll just say white bishop on f1 to c4 captures anything. That's what the question mark is. A question mark in this dialog is a wild card. It means anything can be in that spot. So for example, if you wanted to have bishops or queens on f1 capturing on c4, you could actually take this piece and make that a wild card. But well, we'll look at that another time. We just want to do bishops right now. Bishop on f1 to c4 capturing. We want to do it in the middle game. Remember our moves toggle that we looked at in the last video? Let's make it moves 20 to move 35. We want middle game, early end game captures. We click OK. After a few moments, we get our results. Only 14 games were turned up. However, one of them was a game we looked at in our last video. Uh, Morphe, not the Morphe, another Morphe, Morphe against Rokomora, and if you look, take a move back, you'll see that the white bishop comes from f1 and captures a black bishop on c4. English versus bird, it's capturing a pawn on c4. Blackburn versus Anderson, it captures a knight on c4. Now let's say we want to narrow that search down still more. We only want a specific capture on c4, where a specific black piece is captured. Well, that's where the rest of this dialog comes in. I'll show you. Go to search, maneuvers, white, remember it remembers our search criteria that we last used. So we have a white bishop on f1 to c4, captures, of course we have a question mark here, captures any piece. If we want to narrow it down, we just click on that little arrow, we get a pull down menu, and here we have a dialog with all the different pieces that can be captured. Notice that of course there is no king there, you can't capture the king. Queen, knight, bishop, rook, pawn. Let's say we want just games in which a knight, a black knight on c4 gets captured. So we'll click that, watch what happens up here. Watch that question mark change to an N once we select it here. There it is, pow. White bishop on f1 goes to c4, capturing a knight in the process. Same moves, 20 to 35, we'll click OK. And now we have eight games. And we can verify it by clicking on a game, taking a move back. We can see that the bishop on f1 does indeed capture a knight on c4. This happens at the end of the game. Remember when you click on a game and you get the starting position, it means you need to scroll to the end. That's a flag that your maneuver occurs right at the end of the game. We saw this in the last, uh, the last time around, by the way, uh, this exact game, this exact maneuver. Another Steinitz game take a move back, we see that it captures a knight. So that's how you look for captures in chess base 11 when you're doing a maneuver search. Right click, search, maneuver tab, and after you put in the piece, or the color of the piece rather, the type of piece, going from F1 to C4, and then the check for capture, and then use the pull down to designate what piece you want to be the one captured. 
Very simple. We'll look at some more maneuver searches in our next video. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.